Hello, this is John, and I'm just uh, troubleshooting uh, why this uh, oil pressure gauge is not working. Um, I just pulled it out of the car. It's a 92 W124 300E with an M103. And this board, well, this whole instrument cluster has had problems before, and I've been able to repair them by tracing the circuit, but I don't have a schematic for this. Anyway, it's just, uh, I don't really see any serviceable, serviceable parts in here. Um, I'm looking to see if I can see any burnt parts of the circuit board. I don't know about this. I replaced the sender and it's okay. And this needle will move if I disconnect the uh, wire to the oil sender on the engine, at least the manual says to disconnect that wire at the sender, put the ignition to two, and the needle should go up to three, and it does. So I don't know if that's telling me that it's kind of hard to read those manuals. Uh, they're very vague. I'm not a professional mechanic, but um, I mean, uh, there is a fuse on the back side. That red one right there, and it's good. And it's right here. I'm not sure what that controls. I wish I had the schematic for this. I used to have it, but I don't. Everything else works in here. So I'm sure the fuse is, you know, I, I, it's not, I don't think it's related to the fuse. Um, I did have some issues, I think on this, this board right here for the center console lighting wasn't working. No, actually it's this one. I took the, I'm pretty sure I, uh, this was nine years ago, I'm trying to remember, but there was a burnt part of this board. I could see it with a magnifying glass. And so I've made a jumper from this connection over to this one here using the uh, schematic. And that restored the lights, the interior lights, uh, center console, I think footwell, I forget. It was a bunch of different lights. Um, but that fixed that problem. So now, I'm just work trying to figure out this one. So, anyways, I'm gonna keep working on it and probably go and uh, test the uh, the wire from the sender to the instrument cluster. Just a negative negative wire. Um, the way this works, from what I understand, is that the negative lead starts at the sender on by the oil filter travels through and goes to the gauge here the gauge has a positive on it and that completes the circuit to make this thing work this is the sender itself has some kind of a, a pressure device built into it that makes the needle go up and down but it's a brand new sender very frustrating it hasn't worked in a couple of years. And these, I don't know, I guess they, uh, I've got a 500 SL right here and it has a kind of an unusual same setup, but it does other things like it works until it gets re really hot and then it starts, you know, not having a whole lot of readings, but I ha there is oil pressure. And my car here has oil pressure. This is the car right here. Just did a complete valve job right here in my driveway. 
was trying to fix oil leaks. I had an oil leak over on the uh, number six cylinder. Um, pretty common. This is the second time in nine years that I've replaced it just for the first time. Coolant and oil mixed. Had to replace everything. This time I did this. When I got this done, had no leaks for a week. And my son drove it. <laughs> And he said, I heard a funny noise. Like I ran over a sign on the road. And then when he pulled up, it's dripping a lot of oil right at the bell housing. There are no leaks at all anywhere on the top side, around the oil filter. There's no leaks there. Um, so I'm thinking it's uh, somehow the rear main seal just decided to let loose. It has 140,000 miles. Um, you know, it's gonna be a costly repair. I can't do it here in my driveway. I'd be pulling out the transmission. So first of all, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try a UV dye in the oil. You put about a uh, I think it's a half an ounce of UV oil dye, and then with a black light uh, UV light at night, you know after the engine's running and the dye's gone through the oil. And you go under there and look and it'll show you where all the leaks are but i'm going to do that to confirm that it's the main seal um anyways that's about it for now i'm gonna keep on working on uh on this lovely thing i just thought you guys like to see what's what's actually under here look at all that good stuff old technology huh Should probably test some of these bulbs are kind of dim in the car <clears throat> i should test for that um other than that um i guess there are, there is I, I believe there's one of these lights that will light if there's like no you know no oil in the car type thing you know it'll warn you this is just the pressure but there i think there is a, an oil light one of these here, but I'd like to have this fixed due to this uh, rear main seal, and it leaks quite a bit of oil. Um, but I would like to have some kind of pressure or something, something. So when my son drives it, that's the car he drives to. He drives to work. Anyways, that's about it, John, and I am out.